good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Elite set review on the Target exclusive WWE Elite Monday Night Raw 30th Anniversary 3-Pack of Undertaker, Razor Ramon, and 123 Kid. This set was revealed to us back at San Diego Comic-Con in 2022, and that feels like yesterday, but it was legitimately, what, six, seven months, something like that, which makes me just want to vomit. But we have the full set here. I found it at retail just the other day. Spent almost almost $400 at Target on this Ultimate Editions Legends. I didn't even toy hunt it. I was I was so I had been going to my Target like every day trying to find it. They had nothing, nothing, nothing and finally they had everything out at once and it, it cost me a pretty penny but I'm so excited to finally have this set here for you. I remember when they first revealed it. I think the packaging looks stellar. I think it looks amazing. I love the classic logo. Of course without the F in there. Get the F out. On the top you do feature the Monday Night Raw logo on there. It's not spot varnish or anything. It's just on there. You guys can see it's got this nice like black and red texturing going around. You got the cutout window. Down here it says Elite Collection. You got Undertaker, Razor Ramon, 123 Kid. You see all of the accessories. Beautiful money bag. I mean this is a quality set man. I'm very excited to crack these guys out. True Effects logo up there. It also includes the raw entrance letters. On the one side it has the Monday Night Raw logo again and then it does feature 123 Kid, Razor Ramon, and of course the dead man down here at the bottom. Other side of the package it's kind of plain Jane, but it does feature the Elite Collection logo down here. And then on the back, you do get a classic shot of all three characters that you get in this box. WWE logo here, Elite Collection logo over there, and then there's a picture of all the talent. And of course, you have the long bio read. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it now. Well, I guess yeah, I've read the other three pack, the Amazon three pack. Might as well read this one. Welcome everyone to Monday Night Raw. On January 11th, 1993, the world was introduced to a show that would change television history. Monday Night Raw. From the first episode featuring Undertaker in the main event to Unfair forgettable moments like 123 Kids upset victory over Razor Ramon. The WWE Universe knew they were in for something special every Monday night. 30 years later, Raw is the longest running weekly show on air today. Uncut, uncooked, uncensored. This pack's massive by the way. Like here's my hand in the middle of the box. I mean it is a big package man. You're talking like big dimensions. It stands out on a shelf. I like this thing a lot. I can't wait to crack it out of the packaging. Find out what these guys are all about. Check out their improvements and check out these Raw letters man. But with that being said, let's crack Undertaker, Razor Ramon, 123 kit out of the packaging and see how this set compares to other figures of the same character. All right, guys, so here is Razor Ramon, Undertaker, and 123 Kid out of the packaging, out of the Raw Anniversary set, and I'm enjoying these things, man. Really cool to see three packs like this brought back. If you guys remember way back in the day, no, I don't know how many of you were collecting. I'm sure a decent portion of you guys were. You guys remember the Then Now Forever three packs. I mean, we've, we've seen some three packs in the past. We Then we got those, like, FYE three packs or, like, those random three packs of the Undisputed Era. You had the Shield three pack. You had the Milkomania three pack. You had the Festival of friendship that was a two-pack but it had all those accessories so anytime they throw three figures and some accessories into a box set man you're gonna have me in the front of the line ready to purchase it you know what i mean i love things like this and i'm hoping that this year we'll get some more announced to us i hope that we don't end with just this one and the amazon exclusive roman reigns paul Heyman, and brock lesnar that we reviewed yesterday i hope that it doesn't end there i hope that it continues i hope that we get some interesting ones one that comes to my brain right off the top man is if the benoit situation never happened I'm Imagine a WrestleMania 20 box set featuring Triple H, Shawn Michaels, and Benoit from that matchup with the World Heavyweight title. All the accessories. Oh my god in heaven, man. Just Those are just the things that you could think of for some cool three packs that kind of set the stage for what we possibly could get. You know, a Daniel Bryan, Batista, Randy Orton three pack. That would be insane. Obviously, not going to happen because of the Bryan Danielson situation to AEW, but you, you get what I'm saying. Nonetheless, man, what we're going to do is take a closer look at the accessories that you get with this pack and then run through every single figure that you get and of course take a look at the raw letters well let's shut the hell up dive into the details and get to work all right man, so before we get into the accessories let's get into the raw entrance stage letters which i think a lot of people are going to be excited for they're massive man they're absolutely big and in the promo shots i thought that these holes right here were open for whatever reason so i thought they would be like hollowed out but this is like plain black so you guys can see here here's the r letter like this is it's like a 
It's plastic. These are plastic letters. They're very thin. They also have these little legs in the back right here. You got the little pegs here, and then you do have these holes, and you'll just port them in there. These come at the bottom of the packaging, and you'll just port those in there. They come with six legs. You just port them into each letter. On the back, they're pretty plain Jane and flat, but they even have a little texture and stuff on there, you know? So that is pretty cool. I think it'd be dope if you did like a black wash over it and then wiped it off. It would give it like a little bit more grungy detail, but at the same time, you got the big raw letters right there. There's the A, the W, and the R. And if you guys just want a size comparison, here's the Undertaker figure compared to it. These letters are big, man. These are big letters. Here's the Elite 100 Becky Lynch just for size comparison. I mean, they, these letters are massive, so that's good. I think it scales pretty well with them. You want to do like your own entrances and things of that nature, but one thing I will say is that they do tip over pretty easy, so if you just, you know, if you sit it right here and then you just barely bump it, it is going down and even if you lean it back, it's gonna, so if it's standing in front of you here and you just push it a little bit, the ricochet is gonna knock it over so that's just something to note but i knew this would be a big part of the you know of the review and a big part of the three pack that people would want to see so the raw letters are cool i like them i think they are a great display piece i think people are going to have a lot of enjoyment out of them they really complete the look and i know this is going to probably you know touch that nostalgia spot in a lot of people so i think that'll be cool but you guys can let me know what you think on the scale and everything i think it works well i think it gets the job done and it wasn't my era of raw but at the same time i could still see where a lot of people are going to find enjoyment out of this so yeah We'll have to see what we get next, but this is a big part of the set, so let me know what you think. All right, guys, so getting into the accessories that you get with this WWE Elite 3-pack Target exclusive Raw Anniversary set, excluding the Raw letters that we just covered, you do get this plethora of stuff here, plus three Elite. So I think, I mean, I think that the price point is justifiable. I think it retails for $64.99. Pretty justifiable when you include, like, all the accessories, the Raw letters, three Elite figures. I think it's a pretty solid deal. I think that it's a nice, you know, wrap it up in a bow as a package deal. I think it works out nicely. Now getting into our first accessory, we do have the Undertaker's coat. Very solid accessory. I do believe we saw this with the Legends Undertaker not too long ago. Very quality. I think it looks, you know, it's got like that matte look to it. It's a nice cloth material. It looks really good on the Undertaker as well. It's kind of like, like classic, you know, it's not the leather entrance jacket. It's more of the matte, old school looking, and I think it looks really, really good. I like it a lot. So anytime we get cloth goods, you'll never hear me complain about that. Outside of that, we do get his black hat. Now, mine is a bit warped. Yours is probably going to be warped, too, because it comes out of the packaging that way, but if you guys want to fix that, all you have to do is heat it up and then get it in the position you want it to be in. So, like, heat it up, get it in the position you want, you know, fix it into whatever position you'd like, you know, correct it, and then run it under cold running water, and it will, like, stay in that spot, and it will fix it. But taking the Undertaker and then putting the hat on here, you know, it fits the hat, the head pretty good here, so I don't really have any issues with it. I think it stays on. Either way, you flip it. I think it looks good on the figure and it stays on relatively well. I've seen much worse things. Outside of his trench coat and his hat, he also comes with his tie and it has stripes on it, which looks really good. We have seen this before. I think we got it in the Decade of Domination Taker, if I'm not mistaken. But, you know, it goes around the neck and it fits tight and snug. You know, you put that over the head and then, so you take the head off, you'll pop this over it and then you put the head back on and it's, it works as his bow tie, which I think looks sweet. So, it's got the gray stripes on there. We've seen this before and I, I you know, we get it again, I'm, I'm down for it. And the last taker accessories we get are the gray gloves, and these are not glove molded hands. I think it would have been much better had we got glove molded hands, but they are just regular mic holding hands molded in gray. So, you know, it gets the job done, but I would have liked to seen actually sculpted hands similar to these. So you guys can see these look like, you know, these look like the gray gloves Undertaker wore. So I'd like to see this glove sculpt on mic holding hands, because I think the details are very impressive here. So you do get the entrance hands of the Randy Orton style hands, but they're glove posed. And I want to say these are new. I want to say that on his Legends figure, it was just Randy Orton hands painted or colored differently, so these are really nice. I think they look fantastic. Now, getting into the Razor Ramon accessories, we do get the same entrance vest that we've seen with Razor multiple times. You have, the, like, the bright green here with the black, and then it does have the Razor Ramon logo. We've seen this in blue. We've seen this in purple from his other figure, so it's just a recolor, but it does look good, and it fits the figure well, so, I mean, I guess that's all you can really ask for. He also comes with his chain, so you have his bunched up chains there and then you do have the razor in there which doesn't look as good as the upcoming ultimate edition so i think they did a new necklace sculpt for the ultimate edition which will be really nice but this you know this this has gotten the job done thus far but i am ready to see that ultimate edition razor that we get and we're getting two different ones so that'll be nice 
defense, but we do get his chains. And then for Razor's interchangeable hands, you do get his mic holding hands, which of course are always great. You get his entrance hands here, which come with guys like John Cena, Finn Balor, all, all of the above. I mean, we've seen these so many times, but you do get the wide open, you know, high five or the, you know, the number five hands, but you know, they use it for a few different things. You know, you could use these for Razor for multiple purposes. And speaking of multi-purpose, you have like the thumbs up hands or the pointing hands, like multiple things you can use these for, but these do look good. You know, you can put these on Adam Cole. You can put these on a multitude of guys, so you do get the thumbs up hands. And then for one, two, three kids accessories, we do get the $10,000 money bag, which is such a cool accessory. I think this is awesome. Now, if you want him to hold it, you are going to have to like bunch it up right here, kind of like he was posed in the package, but I think that the print looks good. I think this is an excellent accessory. I'll never complain about these off the wall accessories that we get, you know, things that tie into wrestling and things like that. I love this. So the money bag is great. It's cloth. It feels good in the hand. It's all nice. And then we also get stacks of money, which we did see with the Cameron Grimes figure, but they have changed the print on these. And instead of updated, you know, blue hundreds, it's old school green Benjis. So green hunnets in his safe. He's got old racks, if you get what I mean. So these are great. One thing I don't like, though, is they didn't give us any Cameron Grimes hands. So I guess you got to use the mic holding hands that one, two, three came with. And I guess you could probably use these for, you know, you could, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it gets the job done, but it doesn't fully grip the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm sure you could make it work if you want to. So like, you could make it work, but it's, it, you know what I mean? It's not like he's holding that front piece there. So it does look a bit odd, but I'm sure you could make it work. But I think including those Cameron Grimes style hands would have been really good for the money, but the print looks good. I like this. And I love that you get so many stacks of it. So now you can use this for a multitude of reasons. Use it as money stacked on a table. I mean, there's lots of things you could do here. But like I said, you do get the mic holding hands, which I found weird about one, two, three kid. He, his right hand's like this mic holding hand. And then his left hand's almost a complete closed fist, like a loose fist kind of. So I, I don't know if that's specific or why they did that, but maybe that's to hold the money bag. I'm unsure. And then last but not least, you do get the closed fist for one, two, three kids. So, you know, his, his skin tone and razor skin tone are two different tones. So, you know, you won't get them confused. You'll be able to tell the difference. All right, guys. So getting into one, two, three kids, starting out with the head sculpt. This does seem to be a re-release of his last figure. You know, it's the same exact head sculpt. Not really seeing any differences. It does look like they painted the eyes in this one. I don't think they painted the eyes last time, but you know, I think it works as a young one, two, three kid. I would have liked to seen a newly sculpted face scan or head sculpt, but you know, it, it isn't the biggest deal. I'm sure we'll get them down the line. They like to make, you know, X-Pac figures and one, two, three kid and stuff like that. So isn't the last time we'll get him. I, I, I assure you that, but the mullet head sculpt looks pretty good. Missing a little paint there, but I, I like it. I think it looks pretty good. Kind of reminds me of my dad as a young man. Looking pretty handsome there. You got, you got a little something special going on there, young man. And so did one, two, three kid, of course, but going down to the torso, I mean, we're looking at the exact same one, two, three kid figure that we got last time, except he has white wrist tape, and it is a change in gear here, which I actually like this gear better. I like the lightning bolts, you know, kind of a Fantastic Four S kind of, you know, when you stare at the center of this thing, but you have these lightning bolts going all the way around. Clean text on the back. I mean, we're, we're looking good here. You got the black knee pads, and you got the solid black kick pads. It is pretty much the exact same figure, except he does have elbow pads here, and he does have double jointed arms, of course, which these are going to hinder, but I find it weird when you get these older figures, and you know, you re-release these things. I always feel like the shoulder get like super loose here one two three kids not as bad as i'm seeing with the other two figures but as far as your figure comparisons go with this one two three kid we do have the other version and again man these are the exact same head sculpts i mean you're looking at basically a repaint with a few things touched up they did give them closed knee pads instead of the open ones here and you guys can see the head sculpt is virtually the exact same but again i don't i don't it seems like they painted the eyes better on the new version but hair sculpt is pretty much the same maybe it's not the same like look at the hair coming down by the sides that's not the same same. Maybe it's very, very similar, but it's not quite the same, at least in a certain few areas there. I don't know. But yeah, we're basically getting a repaint of this Elite, what, 40 one, two, three kid, I think it was. So yeah, you get a, you know, you get a newly updated one, two, three kid. All right, guys, so getting into Razor from this three pack, not a fan of the head sculpt. You know, this is the head sculpt that came on the Defining Moments, except the five o'clock shadow doesn't look as good, I don't think. Maybe, I don't know, but it's, you know, I guess it worked back then. I used to be like, this figure used to rot on shelves that Defining Moment was Razor was rotting on shelves at my Kmart and stuff like that. So it is kind of bummy that we're getting the exact same head sculpt. You know, we do have Ultimates coming. I'm definitely going to be switching this out once it's time. But, and, and it also is very easily, you know, removable because they've made it heads interchangeable finally in 2022. So that was always good. But going down to the torso, you do get the hairy chest and stomach, which is always beautiful to see. This is practically the Legends figure and the Defining Moments redone again.
again, we're getting, you know, double jointed arms here. You do get the elbow pads in there, which look really good. I love this green color. It looks fantastic, but you have the razor, and then you have the razors on the back there, which look very clean. You're getting the big old chunky legs. Black tape underneath, the black knee tape underneath here. We're getting the bigger knee pads, which is a first, I do believe, or maybe that happened on the Legends figure as well, but I want to say it did happen on the Legends figure, but it did not happen on the Defining Moments, but we have the large green knee pads with the razors, and then you do get the big green giant boots with the white outsoles and the white laces, which look good, but I don't know. This figure isn't like world crushing or anything, but it is cool to get another razor in the collection. I really want to see the sky blue gear or, you know, the, like the light blue gear. I want to see like that anthracite gunmetal gray gear with the light blue accents. I want to see, you know, the ultimate editions look good, even though we're getting one repaint. There's this, there's a lot of razors we could get, but this one, you know, I like this gear. I think it's solid, but, and it is an upgrade from the Defining Moments and the Legends figure, even though I like, maybe I like the Legends gear better than this one, but I, I do appreciate the green. I think the green looks really, really good, and I don't even have the Legends figure to compare. Never really found, I saw it one time and didn't, I didn't buy it because I was out of town and I was kind of in a rush. However, I do have one Defining Moments razor here, and don't ask me about the arms. I actually got this in like a loose lot, which explains, look at these legs, man. Look at this right here. My God. So whoever had this figure before me is the one that put the hand tape on there, but, you know, you can get a comparison here, and the, the blue one could just be here, and, you know, it's the same figure repainted. So we practically have gotten this figure three different times, so I'm happy for the Ultimate Edition. I'm really waiting on that, but, yes, yeah, same figure, just different colors, you know, uh, all the companies do it, but I do appreciate having another Razor, and uh, rest in peace to the legend. I just, I want to see new head sculpts, man. I want to see some new things going on, but I think it is a serviceable repaint, and, you know, people are going to definitely get it in their collections. So getting into the Undertaker, man, probably the best overall figure in the set, even though I do have my gripes about it, which we're going to get into, of course, but this head sculpt looks to be brand new. It, it I want to say it's brand new. I could be wrong about it, man, but I feel like it is a brand new head sculpt. I think the likeness looks fantastic, man. Underneath the hair right here, it looks good. One thing that's weird about it, though, is that they gave him, like, a like a tan skin tone. He has, like the, like, the Seth Rollins skin tone, which is very weird compared to his other figures that we've gotten from around this era, which have had, like, that dead, like, pale white skin tone, which I think is probably more accurate. But I do like, like, the natural hair color here of, like, the light brown. I think that looks really, really good. I like the head sculpt. I think it does look really good, and it actually captures the likeness very well. I think it's well painted. I think the beard looks really, really good. This torso we've seen before, you know, it's mine's a bit loose, to be honest with you, but that's kind of where my gripes come in. You guys can kind of see that skin tone. It's You'll see in the comparison shot, obviously, but we have this, like, dead man's, you know, collar work shirt or whatever the hell you want to call it there. It's got the rips in it, but they added the, the muscular shoulders, which I do appreciate because I like those muscular shoulders. They make the figure look aesthetically better, and they did give him the giant, or the bigger, not giant, but bigger arms with the updated tattoos on the lower part and the removable, you know, gloves right here on the, which I think is excellent. Like, I think that's a great way to do it. You, know, you can pop the hand off, pop the glove off, and I think that looks fantastic and it works perfectly. But it makes the, like, the way they do these striated shoulders, man, you really have to struggle to get that up. So the worst thing about it is when you push the shoulder up, man, you gotta be very careful because if you don't, like, grip it right here and push it down, if you just freely push this up without doing it first, it'll easily get loose on you and then your arms will be really loose and all that different stuff, but it's just, you gotta be very careful. Like, that one right there is not going up when I push it up and it's leading to the bicep being loose and the shoulder being loose. So you guys can see it's not pushed all the way down. I hate that, bro. It really pisses me off, but the skin tone is an interesting note. We'll see it just a second on the comparisons, but he's got tight waist. You know, these are the same legs we've seen a hundred times in these old school takers. He's got the gray boot covers, which work nice and, you know, they get the job done. So I think the Undertaker figure looks great, especially when you have all the accessories on him. Like, even for back here, he just looks awesome, but getting into the comparisons. Alright, guys, so for your Elite Undertaker comparisons, we do have the three-pack Undertaker in the middle. You have the Decade of Domination right here. This is the WrestleMania 31 Heritage figure from back in the day. We have a fix-up Heritage Undertaker, I'm pretty sure. I think this is this figure, but with a SummerSlam basic or WrestleMania basic Undertaker head sculpt and arm switch. And then we have the new Legends or the most recent Legends figure right here. And again, man, I don't think any of these have the same head sculpt that this one had, or obviously none of these do. I thought this would be this head sculpt, but it's not. Upon further investigation, they are different, unless they're just completely painted differently, but I don't think they are. I think this is a new head sculpt and, you know, everything like that, but you guys can just see the difference in the skin tones here, man. This is more like pale, and this is more like I, I, like a Seth Rollins skin tone, which looks crazy. You know, I don't know, you know, which one's, you know, looks better, which one's more accurate, but 
I think aesthetically, this figure looks awesome. I think it looks amazing. I think once you put all the get-ups on it, I mean, it looks incredible. And here's the Legends figure that had that same coat we got in this three-pack, and it has the tie and everything like that. And then, of course, in the Decade of Domination, very similar figure, but it had the same tie with a leather coat or a pleather coat or whatever the hell you want to a faux leather coat, whatever the hell you want to say. But I like this Undertaker figure, man. I just feel like my torso's loose, and I think, I don't know. I just think it looks ominous. I think from far away, it looks very badass. Like, it looks like it could kill you like the Undertaker, which is, you know, makes the world go round. But that is it for your Undertaker figure comparisons. But I think that pretty much wraps up this WWE Elite 3 pack Raw anniversary set of Razor Ramon 123 Kid and Undertaker, man. Had a lot of fun with it. You know, it's not, I love all the accessories that we're getting in this set, but at the same time, I feel like when they repurpose these old figures and give them new shoulders and stuff like that it ends up making the shoulders really loose is something that i've noticed but i love all the accessories we get i love you know the money bag and the money and the the undertaker figure is really good i know they did some weird stuff with the skin tone i think the head sculpt looks great razor ramon basically a you know just a repaint but it is a good figure one two three kids same deal just different gear but that's usually what these three packs are right it's just repurposed things thrown together with some cool accessories and maybe like one new figure or some updated things about it and that's what this is for the most part but i still had a ton of fun with it i think it's worth the grab especially if this you know is attacking your niche or your nostalgia you know it's tickling your nostalgia nerve very badass stuff very badass three pack i enjoy it and i can't wait for more three packs like we discussed but again it is target exclusive so if you guys are wanting this thing you are going to have to go to target or find a target that has it they've been really weird about pre-orders and things online so i wouldn't test my luck with that i would either buy in the aftermarket i don't even know what it goes for right now but it's should be hitting your target you should be able to find it at your local target if mine has it then uh, probably all of them have it and i have talked to some people at mattel that said that this three pack should be pretty easily attainable at retail if you have a target if you have a target more than likely this is there you know what i mean that's kind of what the case we have here is but i like this set i think it's cool i like the raw letters they do they are kind of easy to knock over but at the same time i think it's a great display piece i think people are going to have a lot of fun with it i love the set i think it looks great men on card it looks good Loose. It is a badass set, and I can't wait for more sets. But that is going to wrap up my Raw Anniversary 3-Pack Elite figure review. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below on this set. Did you grab it? Did you pass on it? Is it not your cup of tea? Leave me your thoughts down below, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you in the next one. Have a blessed one. We'll never